everybody so finally after four years here in the u.s i am gonna be able to send a balik bayan box to my family so this is a tradition that we have in the philippines as a filipino being working overseas so for this past few decembers you know during christmas season i just have been sending you know money as a gift and then last time when I was in Manila before I met Claude I would send them money and then my sister would shop and then they would give it to my to my um, mother and my grandparents you know for that for the gift but right now when I came here in the US there's no way I will be able to well, I used to send them money and then when my sister was still in school, in college, she would shop around for them. But then this time, they're already working and they kind of have no time to go shopping for the gifts to give them. So while I've been here in the U.S., I've been collecting stuff, you know, some stuff that we're not using and Claude would told me to throw it away but I was like I want to hold on to that because I want to send a balik bayan box to my family so if I am in the Philippines and there are a lot of stuff in here that people are not using but if you send it to the Philippines they're still gonna want those so that is the thing that I'm Dealing it with here, so we're kind of having too much stuff because I'm just collecting them, so I'm not throwing away. So, anyway, I have my Balik Bayan box here. I'll show you. So, when we did go to Seafood City, um, so this one is a regular size, there's Macho or Moncho, Mocho, which means a bigger size. Let's just see, it's a large size. So this is a regular one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tape this one here. I don't know if it's being caught in the camera. So I'll just tape this and I will show you. I will see you guys. You know, they would do pick up. Um, I did talk to Atlas. Atlas is a, it's a Balik Bayan branch they have in seafood city so that's the only balik bayan there are a lots of like forex cargo what else they have some office in nuclear in appleton which is far from here so anyway i did talk to the customer service of atlas and then for regular for pickup so they would pick it up here for 80 dollars for the bigger size than this one, it would cost $90. But if we go to Seafood City and drop this thing out there, it's going to cost us $70. Gamay, by the way, is like a province area in the Philippines. So I would probably ask my mother to ask some address which it can be delivered in Gamay. We know some people in Gamay, but that's not where we really live because we're like far from Gamay, like two hour drives. But then that is the farthest delivery they can go because it's already far from the city of Manila. So anyway, to for a regular size like this one, it's $80, uh, $70 if we drop it off. And then Macho, which is the bigger one, is $80. So just to show you how big it is, guys, let's see. So that's how big it is. All right, guys, so here's our Balik Bayan box here. And these are all the stuff I need to organize to fit in this small box. So these are all the stuff. These are clothes. And I got purse. This purse I bought. Um, when I was working in Payless and I never used them 
So I'm going to send them to the Philippines for them to use. If they want to use it, and my mother have a sorry, sorry store, so she can probably sell this stuff if she don't want to use it. So I have lotion here. This kind of stuff, the liquid stuff, I am going to put them in a in a zip zip lock so that you know if it has a if it leaks These are, it's um, gonna be contained from a hotel that someone gave me so i just been collecting them and i was gonna send them to the philippines you know because i have my shampoo here but these are some stuff like a souvenir from a hotel um he's a good friend of mine at work so he's been giving me this so I just been collecting. So this one I get this for free. It's a lotion. I don't know if my family is gonna like them in the Philippines, but then I have the Ziploc here for this one. And then I'm gonna have another one separate Ziploc for all of this. Why? Because this is a liquid and if it's gonna start leaking, at least it's gonna be contained in the Ziploc here. So anyway, I'll just wrap them up with the Ziploc and then put them in the bags later. Same with the flower. And I'm going to put the clothes first into the box. So this is not that big of a box, but I'm going to try my best to fit as much as it can be because it is paid by not weight. So if it is paid by weight it's kind of hard but this one it's just by the box by the size of the box so anyway I'm gonna put I'm gonna start putting stuff in my box now I should fold the clothes in a neat way so that it can fit much much more in there so I'll see you guys so this is the progress I'm doing so I did put the purse first at the very bottom and then I'm rolling the clothes like this so that it can save as much as space we're probably gonna go shopping for food where I can I don't know if it's gonna have more space but I bought two balik bayan bags and let's see this is like our trial and if it's successful we're probably gonna do it every year all right guys we're here at Appleton right now it's about two hours drive from Madison so two hours to here and two hours back it's like four hours it's a long drive but anyway the reason we are here because we are dropping off the Balikvayan bags that I've been putting together for like a year or so did I well it's been a while oh yeah no 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 oh I All right, have, I'm gonna go in there. You want coffee? Yeah, okay. or and donut. And a donut. Okay. So I have been, you know, collecting stuff like clothes, uh, pretty nice one clothes. I've been collecting them in my suit. And then last time we we did go to Seafood City, I did buy a box that I could buy there. So. With the setup with Balik Bayan box, I'm not really familiar with it. So I'm kind of like, you know, what size of box should I buy? So um, to go to the safer side, you know, I go there at Seafood City. I was going to ask because they have the shipping company there, Atlas. But we're kind of worried, you know, we eat there and we do grocery shopping. And we are worried that we're going to caught in a traffic. So... I didn't really find out a lot of information about the Atlas shipping there. But then we go to their website and we look at their reviews and they just have very, very bad customer service. So instead of driving to Chicago again to ship our box, we just decided to go here at Appleton where they got a Forex shipping company, a Forex Cargo. I'll write it down here for more details but I am not that excited to go here because they don't have the seafood city you know seafood city is you know you get a lot of Filipino food in there they got adobo pancit any Filipino food you can think of well not all of them but 
it's pretty good but here they don't have that much stuff like that but anyway um, we got here at 3 o'clock and the girl or the agent I had this number for a long long time ago and I'm trying to find out about Balikbayan box and then Code said no we're not gonna send Balikbayan box that far because it's a two hour drive and then here we are we end up send, sending our stuff here so I'm gonna find out more about this um, shipping company. Um, I have seen their website, and it's a little bit more expensive from the one in Chicago, but the drive here is not so bad as drive to Chicago. So let's see what's more good. Um, I'm gonna find out the sizes of the box because that's the one where I'm confused at. You know, if I'm supposed to buy the box from them or I can just randomly buy the box everywhere as long as it's the right size so let's see what I can find out right guys we just dropped off the box and um, the, the guy we talked to you know the agent that we talked to was really consistent of their time so they told us to go there to meet us at 3.30 because they are also, you know, working. They're not always at home. So when at exactly 3.30 he was there, you know, we didn't, it's not like Filipino time or something. So we're happy about that. And then we came inside and fill up some paperwork. And they also accept checks. So we just use check. And then the paperwork that we had, um, you know, it has three copies. So we had one copy for ourselves. And he also um, told us that we can track the package online. So um, they also gave us one box, you know, because I think it's like part of their business that if you you know send something you know they give you one box back because um, you kind of have to buy those boxes but anyway this box that they give us have a logo of the company on it which is the forex cargo or something so it turns out good guys and we'll see how it's gonna turn out when we, it got to the Philippines I sent it to my sister in Berry and we'll see this is our first time so if there's you know gonna be different you know like concept, what they call it problems or something we'll see because we haven't really done this and I've been trying to do this for a long long time like since I got here because my aunt used to receive balik bayan bags from here and that just you know it's a Filipino way it makes us happy to receive a box from here from someone in abroad we really see the US you know something from the US really see it as really valuable or you know it's a big deal in the Philippines so I just want to have this to give the same feeling that I got you know when my aunt would receive balik bayan bags and sometimes he would uh, she would share it to my grandma and my grandma would sometimes share it with with my father and you know which means us the granddaughters and grandson but anyway I just want to have you know to give the same feeling that I had when I used to receive something and you know we kind of like say we're proud to say that you know this is from the US so that is all guys it turns really good and we'll update you when the package get to the Philippines bye